now we're going to move on to a new topic integration so um so under calculus there's a differentiation which we've done now we're going to look at integration so uh, so with differentiation we were concerned about finding out um, finding out the gradient of a complicated function uh, with integration we we are concerned about finding out the area underneath a complicated function okay so so with, with differentiation we we would develop a technique of finding out the gradient and, and that technique was this x plus h uh, minus f of x and then uh, divided by h and then take the limit as h tends to zero we developed this technique here in order to find out the gradient um, of, of a complicated function now we need to develop some 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 new technique in order to find out the area underneath a complicated function and the way we do that is to split this up let's say this is a and b here so the way we do that is to split this up into lots of into lots and lots of small strips uh, so so we would do something like this b minus a and then cut up into lots and lots and lots and lots of strips and then we would we would then add up all the areas here uh, of all the strips here we would add up all the areas here so um so so we would have to let's say the area here is one uh, uh and then we've got let's say the area here is two and then we would add up let's say the area here is three and then we would have to, let's say the area here is four and then we would have, let's say the area here is five uh, and then we would have to we would have to add up all uh, this goes on and on and on here so rather than rather than sitting there I'm writing this out all the way to whatever here we would develop a new notation so that notation here is a sigma notation in order for us to um, to try and to try and understand integration we need to understand this this notation here so so with this notation here hang on so let's say we want to add up let's say um, let's say one two add up one two three four five six uh, seven and so on here. Let's let's just stop there. Seven here. Uh, with, with with that notation here, we would use we would use this notation here. So this here would be let's say k here, starting at one and ending at seven, and then uh, and then k here. You see, we we would then use this notation here rather than rather than having to write this out. Um, so for example, hang on. Let's have a look at this here. So so. So uh, to to write this whole thing here, we would we would just use this notation here. It's much easier. So hang on, let me give you another example. Let's say let's say you you've been given this here. So this this here is your start, okay? Your your starting value. This here is your end. So uh, so so what this means here is that this here is your start. So put the zero into here. So so two times. Um, uh, two times zero is uh, is zero plus one. So the first term here is one. Okay. So when when k is zero, the first term here is one. Then then the next one would be a one here. So you've got to put the the one into here. So two times one is two plus um plus one. So so then the next term here would be uh would would be three. Okay. And then and then increase the k by one. So the next one would be uh, would be two. So when you when you put two into here, it would be five. Okay, and then increase increase a k again. Uh, the next term would be would be three. So so put the three into here. So uh, so that would be seven. And then uh, but don't forget it's always plus here like this. Okay, and then uh, and then the next one uh, would be a four. Don't forget this here's your end. So four would be our last term. So put four into here. So this here would be nine. So, um, so this whole thing here is basically all these added together. So, so that would be this here would be ten, ten. Uh, so it would be twenty-five. So this whole thing here would be twenty-five. So you can say this whole thing here equals twenty-five. So this here is your start, your 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 first term, and then this here is your very last term here. Okay. But then, but then, uh, but then this whole thing here translates to you adding up all of these. Okay. Let, so, so overall, the answer here is 25. Let me give you another example. So, with this one here, this is your first term. So, minus three would be your first term. So, hang on. So, minus three would be your first term. So, when you put minus three into here, minus three squared would be would be nine. 
okay and then increase a k by one so the next one would be two uh negative two um so put the negative two into here so negative two squared would be four and then increase a k by one um so the next one would be minus one put the put the minus one into here so that would be one and then increase a k again so that would be um blah blah, blah here um and then one put 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 the zero into here so that would be uh uh, zero squared would be zero and then increase the k again by one so that would be one uh and then and then put the one into here that would be uh that would be one and then increase the k again so so you increase this k by one every time so uh so this here will be a two put it into here that would then be a four don't forget your last term here is two so we stop at two okay this is your last this is your your first term. So now now what this means is all these added together. So add all all of these together here. Okay. Let's merge this with this. That would be a ten, uh, ten, and then nine. So that would be nineteen. So overall, this whole thing here equals nineteen. We we will cover this this notation more uh, as time goes on. Okay. But but we need to understand the sigma notation um, in order to to do integration, okay?